Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this Spellbinders card making project. I just want to show you a few of the items that we're going to use from Spellbinders and just tell you a little bit about them. For more details, you can go to my blog and then you can go through to the Spellbinders website. So, the first thing is embossing folders. We're going to be using the embossing folder called Horsehair. Yes, I know, I didn't know Spellbinders did embossing folders either until I started doing the project but they're great they've got good depth they're a good emboss and they're really easy to use so that's the embossing folder we're going to be using we're then going to be using the hello geo heart die set so we're going to be using the word hello from this set and then we're going to be using one of my favorite stamps and if you've ever watched any of the tips and tricks for the 31 days this is the heart that I used in those for the embossing and things like that. I would love this stamp. It's so versatile and you can do so much with it. So we're going to use a happy heart. Now the first thing, as always, you're going to need is your base card. So this is a 7x7 seven seven inch card and this is a white base card. So I'll show you what it looks like on our cardometer. So it's nearly the largest in size, 8 by 8 being the largest, 7 by 7, 6 by 6, 5 by 5, 4 by 4. This is my cardometer. I've designed it and created it to show you and give you a perspective at home so that when you sit and watch my videos, you can think, oh, I know what size a 7 by 7 is. That's quite big or that's quite small if you're using a 4 by 4, etc. But it just gives you more of an idea. So the first thing that we're going to use is our bone folder to make sure we've still got a good sharp crease along our edge. And then we're going to do the inside of our card because I know how you like the inside. Now this inside could not be simpler. It really couldn't. And for anybody thinking that they can't paint, this is for you. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of white card that's nearly the same size as the inside and all I've done is I've stamped the happy heart in the middle using a black stays on ink and then taking my Curatac pens and a water brush I've simply um, scribbled on my mat with the pen and then I've added some water and I've got the water brush and I've simply done that and made it look artistic. I haven't done anything else, I haven't coloured it in, I haven't spent ages on it. That's what I've done and I think that looks really cool. I've taken a black ink pad and tapped it around the edge. So now this is on double sided tape so that I can add this to the inside so it really is a simple insert but it looks so effective it really does and there we go so that's the inside and you can see there's still room for your to from and your message and everything but it literally looks like it's been printed on just because of that colour wash through the centre of it. Next we can go to the outside of our card and this is nearly as simple as the inside and the, it would be such a quick card if I wasn't chatting about it. So I've taken two layers of coordinating pink cardstock and I've made them into layers and now I'm simply going to add them to our card. So double sided tape on the back so it's flat tape and then we can add them to the card like so through the centre. There we go. So those are our base layers for the card. Next, for the centre, I've embossed using the horsehair embossing folder and I've given it 
a colour wash. Now to be fair, I did the colour wash before I embossed it. For the simple reason that if I gave it the colour wash after it was embossed, the colour would sit between the embossed detail. Now it depends what kind of finish that you want. You might prefer that. Try both. But I colour washed it first, like I did with the heart inside, and then I embossed it. So then I matted it and layered it just onto a layer of card that's the same as one of our background layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this through the middle of the card and try and get it as central as I can, like that. Then I've stamped, now this is where you're going to think, oh I have to be artistic, I have to be able to draw. No you don't. I've stamped this out, I've used watercolour pens and markers and I've coloured it all in and then to blend it I've simply used a water brush and after I've coloured it in and it wasn't coloured in perfectly I've simply gone over the full picture with um, like a, a pale brown colour wash and it just merges it all in but it looks kind of cool it looks like I've taken ages over it but I didn't so I'm going to add that to the centre of our card yeah, I've put it on 3D foam so that it stands proud there we go and now for the outside of the card I've used the die from the um, Geo heart and I've die cut the word hello in black card and then I've used my Xyron machine to add adhesive on the back and I'm just going to add the word hello around the edge so all four sides oops of my card that extra little bit of adhesive that hasn't come off I'll show you a quick trick for that so we can add the words on the third side like so and then the final one at the bottom like that there we go hope that's in the middle there and that's our card finished we can take off just that little bit of excess of adhesive with a little bit of paper towel like that just be careful you're not rubbing the word away you're just lifting the extra bit of adhesive that hasn't come away when you've taken it out of your xyron because you have to break the seal and sometimes when you've got an intricate word you can't always tell till you peel it off so there we go so that's our card finished a quick and easy card it really is you don't have to be capable of great with great drawing skills or anything as long as you can get some water and colour on a piece of paper then it just looks so pretty and it makes the heart look so detailed but giving it that wash to merge everything just hides some of my colouring faults because I'm not perfect and I just think it's a pretty card it's got a good weight to it because it's a 7x7 inch base card anyway but it's not unduly heavy for your postage it stands up nicely the inside matches the outside I know you like to see me flick it so that you can get you know the idea of the front and then the inside so it will go in a normal envelope it's not too high there's not too much decoupage um, and foam on it so it's a really pretty card 
and I hope you've enjoyed watching. So please check my blog out for plenty more other ideas and feel free if you've made a card similar, if you've used this stamp, if you like what you see or you just want to say hello to me, please feel free to find me on Facebook or you know say hello on my blog. You can comment on there as well and there's all the details and the information of products that I've used. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.